stage. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, baby. How you doing? <laughs> Okay. No, no, I can see why running with me would be embarrassing to you. Yeah, okay. You're uptight. What? I, I am not uptight. <laughs> I am not uptight, man. <laughs> okay, come on, do it one more time. Please. Really? Really? Yes. Okay. Hello, Ross. This is Dr. McNeely from the Fake Accent University. <laughs> We'd like you to come on board with us full time. Man, look at this. Ross, I can't believe you said you'd play rugby. I mean, look how brutal this is. Hey, I can handle it, all right? Please, Ross. You, you got hurt playing badminton with my dad. That's because your mom's dog kept, kept looking at me. Anyway, she thought the very idea of me playing rugby with him was, like, hilarious. So I'm going to show her how tough I really am. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. You're right. You are a tough guy. You're the toughest paleontologist I know. All right. Well, look, Ross could take care of himself. It's not like he's Chandler. Thanks. Look, don't worry about me, okay? I'll just look real energetic and stay away from the ball. I'll uh, I'll be that guy right outside the circle. Oh! oh. oh. Well, maybe there was a dog looking at him. Hey, Rach. Yeah. You know what we hadn't played in a while? What? Hide the lamp. <laughs> hey, Monica, let it go. Did you know I was allergic to shellfish? Well, then you'll just have to eat the other lamps. <laughs> I don't think so, dear. Okay, look, let me paint you a little picture. All right, you are setting sail up the Hudson. You got the wind in your arms. Uh, I just have one problem left that I do not know how to solve. Uh, Rachel, maybe you want to come upstairs and help me figure it out? Really? <laughs> okay, okay I'll, I'll go upstairs. If, if you get me something from the car. What do you need from the car? And that's the story of the dreidel. <laughs> now, some people trace the Christmas tree back to the Egyptians, who used to bring green palm branches into their huts on the shortest day of the year, symbolizing life's triumph over death. And that was like 4,000 years ago. So, pretty much around the same time that you started telling this story. <laughs> Wait, now, so you joined the gym? <laughs> and that's funny, why? Oh, um, I was just, you know, picturing you working out and, um, oh, that's it. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, Rach, uh, do you notice anything... Yeah, uh... your teeth? Yes, I saw them from outside. <laughs> you guys. So, guys, am I crazy, or does Phoebe's mom remind anyone else of a cat? <laughs> Ross, don't start. Come on. You can't tell me you actually believe that, that there's a woman inside that cat. I believe it. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you do you know what? You're not going to suck me into this. Oh, sure I am. Because you always have to be right. I do not always have... Okay. okay. <laughs> Jurassic Park could happen. Actually, this is for uh, Kathy's birthday. It's an early edition of her favorite book. Oh my God, when the boys love makes the rabbit real. <laughs> okay, but don't touch it because your fingers have destructive oils. Oh. Well, then you better keep it away from Ross's hair. 
What you gonna do? Excuse me. I'm seizing. Mr. Traeger? Here's another 50. Happy Hanukkah. Will, uh, will this help with the knob getting? No. The place is not open till Tuesday. Am I not saying it right? So, wait. You really did like my cookies? Oh, yeah. They were so personal. Really showed you cared. <laughs> nice seizing, gel boy. <laughs> Are things with you and Joey any better? They couldn't be worse. I spent eight hours calling him last night just trying to get him to talk to me. Oh, wow. Eight hours. So you could probably really use one of those plug-in telephone headsets, huh? Should we all expect Christmas gifts that can be stolen from your office? You shouldn't.